All right, guys, Monterey, day number two. We are on our way right now to the Lamborghini house. And on the way here, we're on a special 17 mile drive road where you had to pay $10 to go on the road. They let us in for free because I guess we have a place to go, but look around you, man. There's amazing houses over here and uh, I'm really impressed. This is a part of California I've never seen before. So I hope, uh, I hope we get to spend some more time in this area really like it so today after the Lamborghini house we're gonna spec our car and then we're gonna go right over to quail so quail is the super fancy you know car show so we've got passes for that and we're gonna get some really good shots I hope we're gonna be able to see the new Bugatti Devo because uh, they released that today so let's check back after the uh, after the spec here So we're at the Lamborghini house right now specking our brand new SVJ. This car I'm going to make as crazy as absolutely possible. So there's a few different new colors of Lamborghini that I was kind of trying to tell you guys about like the translucent colors, the really like high quality like uh, chrome-ish colors that are coming out in the new versions of Lamborghini that I'm going to try to see if we can talk about. But right now we're going to see the uh, process. Uh, I'm thinking orange but I might go baby blue, I don't know. I kind of feel like almost every SVJ is gonna go baby blue, like Blue Cepheus, that new Huracan I just got, but I don't know yet. We'll check it out, follow us along. All right, so I'm narrowing down that I probably want to go with a blue color. Uh, blue Le Mans is really a really great color, but a uh, blue Nila color just passed by an Aventador S Roadster outside, and that's what it looks like right there. So it's a, it's a blue Le Mans with like a, a pearly effect to it. So I think this is the color that I'm going to go with. And if you saw the Aventador SVJ outside, that's a 63 model, has the carbon roof, carbon rear uh, uh, hatch, all that special livery. They're only making 63 of those. Cross my fingers that that's the one I'm going to pick. Now, you know, 63 at 150 dealerships, you know, you got to you gotta be, you know, picked for that. So I'm going to put in a request and see what happens. But that's what we're going to spec it. just specked out the SVJ blue with a little bit of an orange accent in the interior. Now we're on our way right now to the quail show. It's two o'clock. We've got to get there so fast. We've got to run back to the hotel because I forgot my wristband and my suitcase. We're going to get there as fast as we can. Quail ends at four. So hopefully we can make it happen. So enjoy the driving all the way to quail. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, first stop, Bugatti. Okay, guys, well, the first stop is gonna be Bugatti. It's right over there. Cross your fingers that no one yells at me over there because I think Bugatti's kind of mad at me right now with the way that I'm uh, pushing it. So looks like they've got, I th I'm sure with the crowd they have, it's probably got the Devo right there right now. Devo. Hi. Sort of era was going on. Yeah, it's oh, there. Yeah, I can see it. Crowd. it very nice, I can see it. Fun oh, look, see, that's the that's the idea. If you look at the sheer on Sport, which is likely my next one, um, same color scheme as my current one now. So I'm I'm pretty pumped. There was literally so many people next to the Devo, I couldn't really uh, explain how I liked it and all this stuff, but that is a little, I mean 100% sickest car I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm gonna sell everything in my life. I'm gonna sell my shoes, my clothes, all my guns, all my watches, everything down in my underwear to buy that car, okay? Uh -huh. So if anybody has a Devo allocation or something how for sale, that's the, the pinnacle of Houston is that car right there. What do you guys think? Let us know. Okay, we have a, a McLaren Senna. So we've already seen the Senna before in orange, but this is a forced green version. And uh, I think this was on uh, uh, Instagram for a while, but let's go check out the Senna. To me, this, exp I mean, the rear end of this car, look, I'm not a fan of the wing, okay? I don't think a lot of people are, but the freaking rear end in this car is such a, an amazing, it's just a masterpiece. You know, the P1 looks sexy. This just takes it another level. I mean, just look at the exhaust on it. And then you have the side blades, which where the air intakes come in. It, it's just like a, it, it's like a mountain of energy coming through this car. You can literally see, if you were to blow wind through this in a wind tunnel, you would literally see every single place where the air comes in and goes out. I, the, the car must be the most aerodynamic car in production right now. It's, it's incredible. All right, guys, this is an ATS sports car from Italy. This is a brand new car that's just been out. It's about a million and a half dollars right now, and it's built on the chassis of a McLaren 650S. Look at the rear end. They've beefed up the motor. They've added exhaust. They've done a whole bunch of stuff, but let me show you some really trick stuff. Here, come over here. So normally in the 650, you know, you got your uh, door handle here. They've moved the doors to here. Boom, right behind that. Check out the interior. Now drop down real low. They've got exposed linkage down there, brand new in-dash, okay? A completely new redesigned uh, infotainment system, different materials used on every inch of the car. It's just an incredible car. I mean, for to be a McLaren, you know, you've gotta really be like special, right? To, to wanna modify that, because that's already so good. But they did an amazing job. Functional scoops, functional airflow, functional everything. This is an amazing car. America, I'm not sure how many we're getting, but I'm about to find out.
Guys, we're at the hypercar section of the Ferrari era. We have the, from the, well, not the hypercar, but Testarossa. This is the first turbo uh, Ferrari GTO. And then we've got F40, F50, La Ferrari. The Enzo was on the other side over there. We got that shot. But man, dude, honestly, when you look at everything, the La Ferrari is straight amazing to sex, but the F40, dude, is seriously the super sleeper of the Ferrari hypercars. I, I mean, it's a real race car, you know, it's, it's, it's straight bucket seats and a six speed, actually it's a five speed. Um, I think this is gonna be a, a, a royalty car one day, not to rent, but just to have. I mean, I've, I just love the fact that these cars here just are timeless designs. One of the things that uh, always speaks out when you look at a car 25, 30 years after the fact that you can see, it still looks incredible. I mean, the F50 to me, it's okay, but it's just, it doesn't really capture my attention like this car does.